Obviously, AI is one of the most powerful, promising, and potentially terrifying technologies invented in human history. What are your goals with this institute to confront that? Hey, Emily, thanks for having me on. Uh, you know, robots have come a long way, but they still have a long way to go. Uh, compared to people, robots are still pretty stupid. And it takes a lot of work to get them to do anything you want them to do, a whole fleet of programmers. So one idea of the Institute is to make it easier uh, to tell robots what you want them to do. Could you imagine having a, a robot that can watch you perform a repair task or an assembly task and then have it understand what it's seeing and then figure out how to do it itself? Now that's science fiction today, but I think if we make a diligent effort and get the right people and uh, have a sustained effort, we can uh, make robots that do that and generally make them easier to use. It's interesting that you say robots are still pretty stupid. Um, we also recently interviewed a Google engineer who claims that Google has developed artificial intelligence that actually has feelings, that computers have feelings, are sentient. What do you think? Um, you know, I think when people see the Boston Dynamics robots doing things like uh, dancing or climbing, or uh, you know those physical things, they assume that they also have the intellectual capabilities uh, of an animal or a person. And that's just not the case. I'm not saying there aren't some narrow areas where AI has made uh, progress, but um, you know, if you were here, and this is my uh, home workshop, if you were here, I could show you how to do a task. And even if you didn't know how to do it, in 15 minutes, you'd have no trouble having observed what I showed you, maybe done a little experimenting and figured out how to do it yourself. Well, that's a long way from where we are uh, now where you need uh, very sophisticated programming in order to make robots do almost anything that they do. Google also bought Boston Dynamics back in 2013. It's been a long journey from there. Sold it to SoftBank, SoftBank sold it to Hyundai. What's it been like working with Hyundai at this stage of the journey? Oh man, it's been great. You know, their uh, their chairman is very forward looking and he's got a, uh, a team of execs who are really excited about uh, making the future happen. You can see how great their cars are doing in the market. Uh, but I think one of their ideas is that uh, they don't want to be an old fashioned car company. Really today you need uh, computer science and AI and other new technologies uh, if you're going to uh, remain competitive. And I think both Boston Dynamics acquisition and the starting of this institute are means of strengthening that element of uh, what Hyundai is. So it's, real be it's really been a pleasure. Now, also in that interview that I mentioned with the uh, engineer at Google, he cr criticizes and questions um, the power that Google has over all of this technology it's developing. Um, take a listen to what he had to say. We need to start figuring out why Google doesn't care about AI ethics in any kind of meaningful way. Why does it keep firing AI ethicists each time we bring up issues? Given your work with Google, do you think Google uh, is asking the right questions about the ethics of the technology it's developing? And are, are all of these companies asking the right questions? Because there are companies around the world, including you know, Boston Dynamics, developing artificial intelligence? You know, it's a, a, a company that size of any of these uh, big tech companies have lots of different people with lots of different opinions. And I think that uh, to some degree, the, the fellow we were just listening to, he was just one of many. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the details uh, about that, so I don't really uh, want to judge. I'll say that it was a pleasure working for Google. Um, we at both at Boston Dynamics and at the Institute are going to uh, have been paying attention to some of the ethics uh, of these problems. You know, I'm not, I, I think having an open discussion about what the pros and cons are of uh, automation and robotics is a good thing to do. We plan to have a group working on that. Uh, I'm not embarrassed about right. my own opinions about these things, so we're going to try and have an open discussion.